All right, let's go back to a time where this isn't built yet and I show you how it's done. What's up? Welcome back to the channel. Today's gonna be a little bit different type of video. A little bit of DIY project going on today. So I already have this box right here, which is your regular size that you would find in the gym. Uh, it's got 24 inches on one side, 30 inches on another, and 20 inches on the final side. But my wife, she wants one a little bit smaller. So what we're gonna do today is we're gonna make one that is 14 by 18 by 20, right? Now I've got a sheet of plywood, perfect for this, right? Not quite as nice as the one we used on here, but some spare wood we had lying around. We're gonna give it a shot, see how it comes out. I've drawn up a plan. I'm not a master carpenter. And I guess you just kind of follow along. I gotta go get some tools from the shed, so here we go. Now, I am in no way, ooh. Here we go. Better, better, maybe? Now, I am in no way a master carpenter in any regard. I've made a few things here and there. I've fixed our irrigation system, but I've never actually like built a bunch of things. I think that box is probably the biggest project I have. I've ever done. So the first thing I want to do is measure my cuts. All right, we got our first measurements done. Time to make our first cuts. Safety first. Need my other glove. Where's my other glove? There it is. So I've got my three basic pieces and they're cut to the three sizes I need. Now I need to cut those each in half so that I can make my box, my 14 by 18 by 20, exactly the way that I like it. So I'm gonna go ahead and do those cuts now. Um, I'll be right back.
Alright, so I haven't recorded for a minute because I realized that the wood I was using wasn't thick enough. So I had to improvise. So let me show you what I got going on. So as you can see, I've added support beams here and all the corners here. And then I've got a couple of 2x4s going the short way and the longer way. Um, and now I just have to cap it off on the top and the bottom. It should be pretty sturdy. I've stood on it and it, uh, it seems to work pretty well. So yeah, so we'll see what happens. All right, so it's been a couple of days since I made the box, right? Remember, we are making the little box. I haven't showed it to Megan yet, so let's go get her now and let's see what her reaction is, huh? Babe, come see your box. My box? Come see your box. Come see it, come see it. Look at that box! You did a great job, babe. I like it. Thank you. It's a me size box. It's got handles. Uh-huh. And I can pick it up. Now I don't have to use your giant one. <laughs> yep, so it's got three sizes on it. So if you turn it on the short side, it's 14 inches tall. So if like you just push it over, yeah, it's 14 inches that way. Then if you tilt it to the right or the left from there, it gets 18 inches. And then if you pull it back towards you, it's 20 inches. Hooray! So it's got all the sizes. I think she likes it. So now we're gonna watch her use it because she's got uh, burpee box jumps in her workout today. So this will be fun. So you get to watch someone else work out. So give me just a sec, bear back. Yeah, but how was your box? It's wonderful. <laughs> Except not trying to jump on it with my skinny legs. What was the hardest part? Probably stupid mountain climbers. Yeah. I get really winded on those. I think it's semi, my shoulders semi being upside down for whatever seconds I am upside down. You think that box is gonna hold up? Yeah. yeah. I'm excited. Right. I'm excited to get higher. I was on the little wimpy box at the gym. The little baby one, and I put weights on it, and now I have my own box. Hooray! You wanna try and do the outro? Oh no, what's the outro? What do I need to say? Hope you like this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Thumbs up, hit the bell, the little dingy dingy. So you get notified. Okay. I don't know if I could do that. I can literally just take that and it'll probably be the cutest <laughs> thing ever. Guys, here is a great list of exercises. I'll also put it in the description of things that you can do once you have your own plyo box, right? It's not just box jumps. There's a bunch of things you can utilize it for. Um, let me know if you liked this kind of video, if you want more DIY home gym stuff or ways to save yourself money. If you have any questions on this, I'm also gonna leave a link on the box that I built for me, the bigger one. I'm going to put that down in the description. Super easy to follow along. Done by a guy who, who has a, his own website about home gyms and things like that. So utilize your resources. It's a great resource there to show you a couple things. And uh, I'll talk to you guys next time. No, wait, Megan, tell them what they can do. <laughs> Hope you like this video. Do all the YouTuber things. Like, comment, subscribe. Thumbsies up. Little dingy dingy so you get notified for the next video. Hopefully I'm not in that one slash dying in that one. Hope I don't see you guys next time.
Do you want to tell the people what your workout is? <laughs> no, because I have no idea what my workout is. <laughs> it's, it's awesome. Burp. Let's go walk the pup. Walking right by Karen and the Chihu Hoo Hoo's. Uh, don't want to get bit. I'm a T Rex. <laughs>